Okay, Debbie. You got this. Give these to the those guys so they can claim the credit for it. Yeah, let's do a good deed for those two guys. I'm sure they deserve it. Why did I do that? Because you're a good person. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, you are. You like help. I, I sometimes doubt it. Oh. Like, you're doing a lot to help people. Because, like, I do also... The thing is, I, like I said to you, but, like, I wasn't really... I mean, I wasn't really my whole self at the time, but I also enjoy hurting people. Old Joseph said it was uh, something like what the Wendigo are. I don't really understand all that. But I, I mean, I can understand what it means, you know? Maybe it's like a, what's, like a, shoot, blonde girl from Berserk. I've never really read or seen Berserk. She is a good person, but she's also a sadist. I mean, I, I, I know the white-haired girl's pretty cute. That's, uh... Yeah, 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 she is. Yeah, she's pretty cute. We, we can't really... You know... I don't know, man. I think I think that kind of stuff is, like, deeper than uh, a conscious decision, you know? Yeah. We find some tender cob meat. Ew! Well, it's to bait the wind to go with, because I got these sedatives. Sedatives. Sedative? <laughs> I mean, there's just something really oh. weird about roofing a Wendigo with a fucking a cob tenderloin. Even more than there would normally be weird about that. It's just sort of stacks. Yeah, it does. It's got like a combo multiplier on it. Of just pure wrongness. Yeah. Okay, this appears to be where Bo Bone Cracker's lair is. I'm gonna need a serious vacation after this. Me too. Mm -hmm. If you want to hang out sometime, like, you know, just... Maybe, because, you know, I, I can't tell if you're, if the whole, you know, sim to stab thing is you just, you, is actually, you know, real, or you just go, going completely insane with store craziness. I don't know. Mm. Look, if she's not real, then who's paying her half of the rent? That is a very good question. I think I get up here. Before. She's right. she's nice. I think you'd like her. Maybe she could join your book club. <laughs> and he's asleep. So now we're roofing a Wendigo to kill him in his sleep. Or not? Yep. Oh, he woke up. I just got, you know, got a good drop on him. He also seems to be slowed down a bit. Just, wow. <laughs> Go to... What's his name? Bloodringer... Bloodfang? Bloodfang. Illustrated by Rob Liefeld. Dude, you read the new edition?
edition of Blood Fag Point Zero Three. Oh, jeez. Mm. <laughs> One of the deepest right. characters in the series. Yep. So let's uh. I cut myself a little bit, and oh. whoop, he's right out here. God, he's just like steaming blood. Blood, blood, blood. Her blood. And bits of sick. Alright, that's two down. Alright. Silent trickster, huh? He just likes to sleep out in the open. That's not much of a trickster. Uh oh, Debbie, I don't like this. Why, you think this may be a trap? Yes. Yes. Oh, yep, it was a trap. So we. Poses a dead body as sleeping him? Oh, he teleports. Holy that's, shit! That's impressive. And stuns me. He's a bastard. A silent bastard. All right, let's see you try to teleport while that's happening. Or, well, okay, oh, that worked. <laughs> Actually worked pretty well. Oh, it just keeps coming back, though. I like that. Look at another Wendigo. He's just like... Hey, Ain't no, ain't no business of mine. I keep myself to myself. But uh, speaking of Wendigos that don't keep themselves to themselves, right? Elder Warcry. Warcry. Yeah. Now that sounds like a metal song. It does. Up. Oh. Why are they all ganging up? Gang up on the human. Mm -hmm. Okay, that guy's attention. Whoa. Yep. The old Wabanaki legends are surprisingly on point. I will kill for forecasting models this accurate. The Wendigo are apparently humans, overwhelmed by cannibalistic spirits. Having tasted human flesh, they spend the rest of their cursed lives hungering for it. Keep your ears open in case there's more we can learn from the Wabanaki myths. In the meantime, we're still interested in data and results. Data indicates that Wendigo are territorial and solitary. The fierce among them earn the right to settle in more prominent dens. By killing some of their alphas, you've undermined their territorial dominance. Kiji. She's surprisingly respectful of the myths there. I mean... It's possible like they're actually going to scare her a little. Maybe. As forward thinking as she is, yeah. then the ancient past might be something. And maybe it's like, you know, she sees like people who, you know, consume others to survive. I think maybe she got that's something she could kinda you know, resonate with her. Deadbeat brother still hanging around her like a fart stuck in a cushion. He's Whoa. By every summer with a damn fool idea to smooth things out with all of us. Girl sure took some shouting down. She always did. Who does she think she is? Telling us to be strong as a family, strong as a people, all while she's siding with him? 
over her own flesh and blood, her own brothers? Damn. I hate you. She said we better stay Yeah, together. fuck this or guy. He was going to come wash us all away. And how's that working out for you, buddy? Yeah, oh yeah, you got you got nothing to say to that. Look, things have sure gone from bad to bad with a side of fries. Brother and me, we were checking out the casino site when it Say, you think that place being taken over by those things qualifies us for a tax break? What tax break? When have we ever gotten any kind of break with that money pit, brother? The Golden Wigwam. That's right, Wigwam. But some genius drew up a design for a big giant teepee. Oh, so now all of a sudden you're a cultural expert. Last month you didn't even care about the difference between a tomahawk and a... Like I said, we were checking out the casino site. Another lost cause, our stock in trade. Eh, uh, whatever. On the way back, we caught sight of something at the old pumpkin patch. Ah, oh, shit. Lights in the far. Uh, like, like kids playing with torches. I knew it. Well, it ain't kids. And it ain't torches. <sighs> that place always gave me the creeps. Townies love to shovel all the bad shit that ever happened in their lives on us. Ooh, must have been an engine curse. But they brought worse with them than all the legends turned old Joe's hair white put together. <sighs> Crazy laughing that gets to me. You heard the laughing too? You said you heard nothing, you you contrary son of a bitch. Hey, you wanna go? <laughs> he called Uh he called his brother a son of a bitch. Come on! Look, it's Yeah. Well horror movies always have sequels. Oh, this is part three, though, so yeah. It's going to be in 3D! Maybe this is the last one. I mean, I hope so. It's probably going to get, like, at least, you know... There's probably going to be, like, a whole bunch more. One of them's going to go into space. And the hood. Yeah. And cross over with Jason. Or, you no, know, Freddy, or whatever. No, this is a lower tier. Yeah, They'll probably cross over with, um... Oh, a pumpkin head. What's pumpkin head been doing? I nah. don't. The... No, no, wait. It'll cross over with demonic toys. Oh, wow. That's a deep cut. Yeah, I did not even know that one. That's that's a new one to me. Hmm? So this one movie about killer ventriloquist dummies. Oh, 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 um. Yeah. Hmm. Shit, I can't remember his name. Me neither, but, like, I know that, like, a woman made, like, a cor the corpse of her father into a ventriloquist dummy. What the fuck was it? Puppet Master. Dead Silence. I know the director's done some good stuff, but I've heard bad, nothing but bad things about that one. Yeah. Yeah, oh... Oh my god, the, yeah, the director is James Wan. He did, uh... Oh, the, hey, Jack! Ooh. Yeah, that laugh or something else. Yeah, holy shit. Makes your evil laughter look, look tame. <laughs> I do not have an evil laugh. Y you kind of do. I do not. Let's... But let's... Yeah. The guy who made the who made the pup movie is also making the Aquaman movie. <laughs> D see right there. That's that. Okay, yeah, that was kind of evil. How can you laugh that evilly about Aquaman? I mean, do, do you just want to see the DC <laughs> universe die? Is that it? Because I can respect that. <laughs> God damn these things. <laughs> Oh, oh god, you got me doing it. 
Ah, oh, it's actually infectious. Oh, it was actually really powerful. Oh man, it's it's, it's the third one. You know, the, the, they got to raise the stakes a little. I mean, you, you know how it is. The the monster's got to be killed in a bigger way each time. Where is... And he's definitely doing it more spread out. Like, how are yeah. these pumpkin patches here? I don't know, man. Pumpkins are a good staple crop. But no, like, why are they here? And like... Oh, yeah, this is this is not a good place for them. You're on top of, like, a rocky outcropping. You're gonna sit down roots. Oh, God damn it, Jack. Don't team up with the Akab. Let's see, there we go, the sequel. There we go, that's... <laughs> Jack versus the Akab. We got, we got it. We got all the bases. Now we just need to fight gangsters in space. God, I can't move! Jeez, I think Jack's getting, like, out outdone by the Akab here. He, he lured them to me. That son of a bitch. And there's a Revenant. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Uh, we're just throwing all the monsters in here. Let's... Let's have a crossover with Scooby-Doo while we're at it. I really think it was Oz where they jumped the shark. Oh, yeah, they did do that. That was just a little too silly. That was. And it didn't work in, It didn't work for me when Once Upon a Time did it either. Yeah, it kind of worked for me there. Well, I mean, it didn't... Like, they cut out the actual part of the, the Wizard of Oz part. Yeah, like, they, they just had Dorothy show up and then leave. She didn't meet the Scarecrow or the Tin Man or anyone. Like the witch, though. The Wicked Witch raped Robin Hood. Oh! Did you never think about it that way? It has been a while since I've seen it. Fuck. The Wicked Witch raped Robin Hood. What the fuck is that show? Fanfic. It is fanfic. Does Disney know what it did? All right. I got you, Jazz. You asshole. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is it. Me, you, Jack. This is over. T this ends now. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I got. I got a thing for this. <laughs> are Are we named Melancholy in the Infinite Sadness? Because we're going out smashing pumpkins. <laughs> I I think he actually died. What? Really? Yeah, the way he fell down, he didn't just like disappear into the ground, he actually fell. Oh shit. I think I won. <laughs> I killed him! Holy shit, you killed him! <laughs> I killed Jack! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we evil? I think we are. Oh god damn it. We have remember we we're kinda of we're we, kind of the bad guys, we're just not the worst oh guys. Oh, God, we're... Man. I could have sworn it was, like, chaotic neutral at worst. Uh, handing in your timesheet on this thing is going to put up red flags with the accountants. Your results per hour spent curve is taking a serious dive with this guy. Can I tr... No shit. <laughs> Can I trust this is the last time we s I see this jack-in-the-box pop up in your reports? Silver lining? At the very least, you've seen what can be achieved with a strong focus and proper training. Say what you want about Henderson, but the man did know his way around curses, and his ability to hold a grudge is on is an inspiration to us all. There's a lot of grudges going around here, you know? 